The answer in Mamluk Heavy Cavalry is the all archer option for our favorite Bates Merchant faction. This troop is quite unique for the class, as in comparison to the other horse archers, it only brings one quiver of arrows, trading the second one for a shell. As the unique equipment may suggest, these guys won't last more than 5 minutes, and they will likely need to use their long blade and their protective layer preemptively. Unlike the Kuzites, who seem to be fine without using any form of protection whatsoever. The role of this troop is not only to flank the opponent, but also to engage in mounted combat if necessary. Let's start by talking about the arrows. The Mamluk will bring just one quiver of piercing arrows, for a total of 23 arrows. Why is there such a low number of arrows, you ask? Well, we know the Azra like to chip out on their cavalry units, the Faris go a bad helmet and these guys get no arrows. Ankid must find a way to save more money for his next project, I guess. When it comes to the bow, the Mameluk bring the Stepper Curve Bow. It has 89 speed and 62 base damage. Not much to say about this one, it's literally the same bow as any other or Archer. For protection, the Mameluk brings a large Adarga. It has 370 HP and a length of 60. So much for being large, isn't it? These guys will barely be able to protect their faces with this, don't expect much from it. The sidearm of the Mamluk is the good old fine long steel cascara. It has 79 speed, 78 base damage, and a length of 116. As I already explained in the Ferris and Veteran video, this weapon is quite bad, and in order to work it needs a very good armor value. These guys don't have enough armor to make it work, but thanks to the shield, they are still the second best horse archer in melee. Talking about the armor, the Mamluk has 46 head armor, brought by the Emir Helmet. This will rank the Mamluk in second place among horse archers and 18th out of 34 overall. The Mamluk also brings 36 body armor brought by the Stitch Leather over May. This will rank the unit in last place among Horse Archers and 25th overall. When it comes to the Horse and Barding, the Mamluk rides an Azrai Horse protected by the Chain Mail Horse Armor. With 55 Horse Armor, this ranks the unit in first place among Horse Archers. When considering head plus body, the Mamluk ranks third with value of 82, and gains one position to second when considering all armor types. With the equipment and armor out of the way, let's talk about the stats. When considering the efficiency against archers, the Mamluk finished second. They finished with a KD of 58.32 and a KD of 241.2 versus low tiers. The Mamluks lost 1.62% of their units and averaged a casualty chance against low tiers of just 0.4%. When considering efficiency against infantry, the Mamluks ranked tied at 3rd with 2 3rd places and 2 4th places, with an average KD of 3.87 and a KD versus low of 186.1. The Mamluks lost 23.05% of their units and ended with an average casualty chance against low tiers of 3.33%. And finally, when considering the melee efficiency, the Mamluks ranked 2nd, with an average KD of 4.18 and the KD versus low of 22.81. The Mamluks ended up losing 19.89% of their units and averaged a 6.64% casualty chance versus low tiers. It's hard to evaluate our archers as there are just 4 units of them, but let's go ahead and list the pros and cons. The one quiver is the most obvious downside, and the number of arrows in the quiver is also quite low. Due to that, it makes this unit more of an hybrid than cavalry or horse archer specific. The horse armor is fantastic and it makes the Azra horse quite tanking despite the 200 HP. I rarely saw them getting killed because their horse died. Thanks to the speed of the horse they can reposition fast allowing for reliable flanking of the enemy. For being horse archers they are very serviceable in melee making them pretty good in sieges. The sidearm is unfortunately quite bad and like the fairies the armor doesn't help it enough to make it good. The head armor is good but a sack of potatoes will likely make for better body protection. The shield is pretty bad, but it's unlikely you are going to use them for tanking projectiles. My final score is a 1.5 out of 5. It's quite clear that this unit is quite unique and inferior in comparison to the other horse archers, but if you really want to have that flanking play style for your Azrai armies, then it does find a purpose. Anyway, let me know what you guys think and what troop you want me to cover next. Right now I have one request for Sturgia and one for Vlandia. 
If you want to make sure I cover the function you care about, leave a comment below. And if you are one of the 88% of people who aren't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. I am trying my best to reach 1000 subs right now and we are 40% of the way there. This will not only tell me that my job is appreciated by a large part of the player base, but it will also give me the possibility of making videos faster and more frequently. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.